What's up guys, it's Chris Majestic here of Majestex. So last week I did a video on how to control your TV with the Amazon Echo or Alexa. This week I'm gonna show you how to control your TV using the Google Home, so stay tuned. So late last year, I did a review on the Google Home. I'll link that for you to check that video out. But I did show you how I control it, a bunch of different things in my house. And I did mention that it's lacking a little bit when it comes to linking with other devices or with home automation in general. Now that is to be expected considering it's so new and the Amazon Echo had a nice head start of a few years. Now you really have two different ways you can control your TV. One is using the Google Chromecast, which is fairly limited, but it does work. The other way is to get what's called a Logitech Harmony Hub. So basically the Logitech Harmony Harmony Hub is just a hub that connects to your Wi-Fi in your home and it allows you to use your phone to control your TV or your stereo home theater or whatever devices you have. Now it gets really confusing when you want to buy a Harmony Hub just because they go by so many different names. So you can buy the hub by itself, you can get it with a basic remote, you can get it with an advanced remote. Just keep in mind that you just need to make sure you at least have a hub. Now if you do have a Harmony Hub or if you want to buy one, you do need to know that the Google Home does not link directly to the Harmony Hub like the Alexa or like the Amazon Echo does. Now, if you saw any of my other videos, you would know that the Amazon Echo links directly with the Harmony Hub using its own skill or its own built-in app. Now, Google Home doesn't have that functionality, so you're gonna be using an app called Ift, which is short for If This Then That. Some people call it IFTTT. Now, what Ift does is allow you to link multiple different devices together that wouldn't otherwise be able to communicate with each other. So even though Google Home is fairly limited, it does allow you to use Ift. So we're gonna use Ift to communicate between the Google home and the Harmony Hub. Hey Google, turn on the living room TV. Stop being lazy. Find the remote. Hey Google, turn on AMC. Okay, cool. Hey Google, turn off the living room TV. I gotcha, turning the TV off. So as you can see, it works pretty well in general. The only thing is that it's really, really limited, especially compared to the Echo. You're not really gonna be able to easily change channels. You can control your volume and you're gonna be limited to activities only. So the Amazon Echo definitely wins here. Now, if you have a Google Chromecast in your house, then it's gonna be really simple because that's gonna use the same app that the Google Home's using anyway, and it's just gonna pop up and work. It's really simple. And the cool part about that is if your TV supports HDMI CEC, it'll actually turn your TV on and play whatever that video is. Hey Google, play CNN on Basement Office. Sure, playing CNN from YouTube on Basement Office. Now obviously using the Chromecast is gonna be pretty limited since you're just using the Chromecast. You're not controlling your TV directly or your cable box or your sound bar, anything like that. Now if you do have the Google Home and you have the Logitech Harmony Hub and you have the SmartThings Hub, it is better to use SmartThings versus using Ift because SmartThings is gonna give you a little bit more flexibility and it's gonna be easier to set up. So if you're interested in doing that, go ahead and check out the home automation guide that I did. I'll post a link for you to check that video out. There's a lot of good information in that video. All right, so let me go ahead and show you exactly exactly how you're gonna set this up. All right, so the very first thing you wanna do is make sure that you actually have the activities already set up on your Harmony remote. Now, I'm gonna walk you through doing one, which is gonna be the one where you're setting up your favorites if you wanna do a favorite channel, but this is gonna be pretty much the same process for any activities that you've added. So let's go ahead and start up the Harmony app. All right, you're gonna hit edit activities, scroll down and you see add activity. We're gonna hit that. All right, so now we see our activities here. So we're gonna do add an activity and we're gonna add our own activity. So you're just gonna name the activity whatever channel you wanna be able to change to or whatever your favorite channel is gonna be for this activity. So just pick one of your favorite channels. I'm gonna pick AMC. You can choose whatever icon you want. I'm just gonna choose the HD one here. It doesn't really matter. So which devices do we wanna include? Okay, this is gonna be my soundbar, my set-top box, which is Verizon Fios, and the TV. So we're gonna hit next. All right, it's gonna be watch TV and make sure that devices are on. I'm gonna say, yes, my devices are on. All right, so now we've gotta select which input it is for our TV. So mine is one, so I'm gonna hit HDMI one and it's gonna be optical on the, on the uh, sound bar. So optical and next. 
Go ahead and see if you're able to see the content. Just follow the directions, very simple. I'm gonna hit yes. It's gonna save the activity and sync the changes. So that's pretty much it for that part. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna hit test later. You can test now if you want, but we're gonna go back in and edit that activity to add a step. So we're gonna go to edit activities, go to that activity we made, AMC. All right, so we're gonna go to activity we've already done, which is the AMC one. So we're gonna tap edit start sequence, and then we're going to go to edit entertainment devices and add a step. All right, we're gonna choose the device. The device in my case is gonna be the Verizon set top box. And then notice it says command and it says or enter channel number. So you do need to know your channel number. In my case, it's gonna be 731. And I'm gonna scroll back up, hit next. So I'm gonna hit next again. And once this is done, that's pretty much it. Now, if you use the hub to initially turn on your devices, it's gonna know that the TV and the soundbar are already on and it's just gonna turn the channel. So it does work pretty well for this. The only downside is, as I said, you're gonna have a lot of different activities depending on how many favorite channels you have. Now I'm gonna go ahead and launch the IFT app and show you how you set that up. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and launch IFT. I'm gonna go to my applets at the bottom and I have some stuff in here for smart things, but I'm just gonna hit the plus sign to add a new recipe. So. You're gonna click on this, where it has the blue this. Since we're gonna do if this, which is our voice, so we're gonna look for a Google Assistant. Oops, spell Google right, so Google Assistant. And we're gonna say, say a simple phrase. So I'm gonna say, turn on living room TV. Now you can choose two alternate ways. My wife likes to say turn on living room TV. I like to say turn on the living room TV. And then I'm gonna say, turn the living room TV on. So then what do you want the assistant to say in response? So I'm gonna say, okay, cool, turning the TV on. All right, you hit done. All right, so now we're gonna go to that, tap on that, and this is gonna be the Harmony remote. So you're gonna look for the Harmony applet. And this is gonna be start an activity, so I'm gonna hit start. So it's gonna be living room TV, and that's gonna be it. So I'm gonna hit finish. You can receive notifications. I'm gonna turn that off. I don't want a notification every time the TV turns on. And then once you hit finish, you give it a minute and it's gonna save it. So that's it. So now we can control the TV using our voice, using the Google Home with what the three different phrases that we put in there. And the Google Assistant is gonna say what we wanted her to say, whatever you put in there. So if you also wanna be able to turn the TV off with your voice, you're gonna go through the exact same steps, but you're just gonna actually, obviously you're gonna say, turn the TV off. And then you're gonna go in when you get to the that part for the Harmony app, you're just gonna say, end activity. Everything else is gonna be pretty much the same. The next thing we wanna do is actually add it for our favorite. So I'm gonna go ahead back, I'm gonna hit the plus sign again. This, again, it's gonna be the Google Assistant. Simple phrase, and I'm gonna say turn on AMC. Just whatever would be natural for you to say when you're trying to turn to a specific channel. So I'm gonna say, okay, cool, turning to AMC. Boom. Checkbox, and I'm gonna go to that. We're gonna look for the Harmony applet, so Harmony, Start activity, and we're gonna choose the AMC activity that we created earlier. So obviously this is gonna be whatever channel you created, not necessarily this one. So for me, it's gonna be AMC. So at this point, you can go ahead and test it out. Go ahead and tell Google to turn on AMC, or whatever channel you want. Tell her to turn the TV on or off, your stereo, whatever it is. But I just wanted to show you this just to give you an idea of how you set it up. Now you can get really, really creative with the IFT app. It does a lot of different things. It connects with a lot of different devices, but it's really, really powerful and easy to use. All right, guys, that's gonna be it for this video. If you found it helpful, as always, mash that like button for me. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.